How to Understand the Northern Lights Prediction We will show you how to understand short-term and long-term aurora forecasts. Predicted aurora strength is measured on a scale from 0 to 9, where 0 is the lowest predicted activity and 9 is the highest predicted activity. This value is called KP index, which tells us how strong the northern lights can become and how far south from the north magnetic pole they can be visible. For example, predicted KP index 2 gives us a chance to see aurora in Iceland, whereas on the other hand, predicted KP index 4 gives us a chance to see aurora further away from the Arctic Circle. Let's see how it works. A short-term aurora forecast is issued for the next three days in three-hour slots. For example, we can have aurora forecast from 9 p.m. to midnight KP2, from midnight to 3 a.m. KP4, and from 3 a.m. to 6 a.m. KP0, and so on up to three days ahead. The long-term aurora forecast gives us activity prediction for the next 27 days, but with less accuracy as for each whole day is issued only one value. Even though it's great to know the aurora forecast, don't rely on it heavily, as it's space weather and can change any time. Same as the weather forecast promising a sunny day that will turn into a rainy one. The space weather includes even more variables, so keep it in mind to avoid any disappointment.